Okay, then when you start to adjust your seat, you start from a home position. After we're done, you want to memorize this all so you're not having to do it again. First of all, you want to take the seat and put it all the way down. The wheel should be all the way up and forward. Now in this car, I don't have telescope, I just have tilt, so all the way up is the best I can do. Tilt the seat back quite a ways back. Whoa! Defeat all the lumbar. You want to take that out so the seat's fully flat behind you. And now take your seat all the way back in the track. Now you're at a point where you feel like you couldn't drive this thing if you had to, but this is just our home position. Now we adjust it for you. Start by raising your seat height so you can see clearly over the hood and the dash and the wheel. Not too hard for me because I'm tall. Okay, now bring your seat forward until you've got kind of yay bend in your leg. You don't want to be too close or too far from the brake pedal when it's fully depressed. Too close and your knees are hitting the wheel too far away and you don't get full power and full control on the pedals because you're at full extension of your leg. Next, adjust the cushion under your butt so you've got even pressure. I'm just going to flatten that out a little bit. Now you work on your seat back, which is feeling really too far back. You want to pull that forward, like with the cushion, until you feel even support across your back. If you've got any weird gaps or needs lower back, that's where you now adjust your lumbar support to either put some in or take some out. Now that you've got your seat back adjusted, you want to adjust your wheel. Ideally, you're going to set the tilt of the wheel so that you've got a clear view of the gauges, the rim's not in the way, but at the same time, you can move your hands all the way around it and not bang into your knees. Now you've got the telescope ability, if your car has that, which is where you want to move the wheel so that the wrist is at the top of the wheel when you're comfortably extended. That's kind of ideal for good control and yet enough extension for comfort. Okay, now you want to raise or lower your headrest at this point to make sure the top of the headrest is at the top of your ears, where it's going to do the most good to protect your head from whiplash. Adjust your side mirrors so you just see the edge of your car's body, not a lot more. You'll see more what's in your blind spot this way. 